Ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to chapter 6 of my book, Technologies are the Art. It talks about the mindset and the culture. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to invite you again to continue with your book called Technologies are the Arts, which is translated in Israeli technology in Sanaa. We are now going to talk about a very important uh, topic in chapter 6, which talks about the mindset. Uh, the Bible says in the, in the Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7, B, that as he thinks, so is he. You know, you cannot go beyond how you think. And according to my book, there are two uh, important things which can make a society develop technologically. Uh, the first is the social need. Then we have got the social resources and what we call technological ESO, sympathetic Sympathetic, sympathetic technological ESO. Social need is how a society thinks that they need a certain technology. And that can be, can depend upon their mindset, but also they, they may think that they need that thing through advertisement or extensive sensitization. So a need may be, may, maybe you need a crane to lift maybe your construction material, or it may be mobile phones, or it can be anything. If the society thinks that they need that technology, then they have what we call social need. Then we've got social resources. Social resources is, are the resources which, which are available to, to develop a technology. You may need financing, you may need materials, you may need machines, you may need uh, human resources. Those are social needs. Then there is what we call sympathetic sociological ESO. Sympathetic sociological ESO, ESO is the readiness of the society to bear the cost of technological development. For example, they say that uh, when there was the in first industrial re revolution in Britain, that industrial revolution, revolution was sponsored by, I mean, the middle class uh, or middle income people like doctors, engineers, lawyers, etc., who were ready to, to dig into their pockets and finance that technological development. Uh, because, you know, technological development is expensive and it has to be finance, financed. But if you, you have the middle income people ready to finance technological development, then you, you are going to have technological development. But you can see, for example, in Tanzania, people are not ready to, I mean, to finance technological development. I was talking to, with my friend who is an, an engineer. He told me that there was a wedding, wedding somewhere and they contributed about 80 million Tanzanian shillings. It's about to start as six thousand US dollars. Only five people financed that wedding. But if you tell them that my son has discovered something, he want to construct a, a factory, please give me that 80 million, they will not be ready to finance. And that means that we are not ready to develop technologically. Because if we want to develop technologically, we need the society to be able to bear the cost for technological development. Of course, there are other issues of mindset. For example, there is issue of quality mindset. We are told that, you know, Japan developed extensively after the World War, the, the World War because they got somebody who, is, who was called Den Denim, who sensitized them to own on development of total quality management, whereby the people were ready to improve their technologies daily, uh, from the top management up to down. And uh, as a result, they started manufacturing goods which were competitive 
they were competitive enough to compete with Europe, with USA, and everywhere. Then those people from USA and and Europe wanted to know why have why that change had happened, and they discovered that they were total. The Japanese were sensitized on total quality management, and they started improving the manufacturing of everything they were doing, and therefore. Japanese rose high technologically. So we need to have that quite a mindset in Africa in order to develop technologically. And then we need to have education mindset. Mindset. You know when Africa, many countries in Africa got independence, very few people were educated. But now we have got extensive education system. But you can see that the education system we are having is not making people to be competent, to be able to do things rather than to, to do a lot of narrations, rather than having a lot of certificates while people cannot do, do things properly. And uh, I remember in Tanzania in the 1970s during the Mwalimu era, we had a very good education system where by when you, you complete even all level, you can you can manufacture bolts, nuts. You can work with a lot of machines, less machines, and every type of machine. Yeah? But that education system was removed because of improper mindset. You know, many of our lecturers and professors think that if you can do a lot of calculations, then you have technology. But let me tell you that. Uh, I mean, cars are not manufactured by very difficult equations or by, from the laboratory. But they can be manufactured, manufactured in a workshop. Therefore, we need to invest in technical education and competence-based education. That is how we can develop technologically. Then we have um, uh, good, govern good governance. You know, good governance can contribute greatly to technological development when we, we reduce uh, red tape, you know, embez embezzlement, bureaucracy, and something like that. Then, then we have a right mindset for technological development. So we need to do away with corruption and bureaucracy for Africa to develop technologically. Then we need to have uh, Mindset on competence. You know, I remember one of the pastors was called uh, James Mahan used to say that the previous world used to celebrate, celebrate certificates, but the current world celebrates results or outputs. We need to have an output competence based education. Don't brag yourself because you have a degree, you have got a master's, you have a PhD, while you cannot do anything. We need people who can do things because science is about knowing but technology about doing. Therefore, we need to develop and um, to improve our educational system. Then we need to have a, an in, investing mindset. We, we need to be ready to invest in technologies and to invest in companies because you know technological de development is related to, I mean, I mean, the way we do businesses. If we cannot develop companies, then we cannot develop technology. There is a relation between businesses and technology. It is written uh, in chapter 6. Then we need to have a daring and self-confident mindset. You know, you, we may be studying in the same universities, but you, if you have an Indian and uh, and a normal Tanzanian. Well, all, all of us who have been here, if we take them to the university, the Indian is thinking about how he's going to start his company, how he's going to develop his company. But uh, an African Tanzanian is thinking about how he's going to be employed. So we have different mindset. And therefore, from that it is, you may find that uh, even Indians who have been born here, their grandparents have been born here, they are they are developing industries, but while lo locals are just starting to be employed. So we need to change our mindset and we should be able to dare. I was talking to a, a certain 
missionary called Morris Thompson from UK and he said that an African is defeated before starting. We need to be daring to be able to start a technological, technological based industry. I was talking to my friend Indian who had started a plastic industry in Tanzania and he was making buckets and other equipment. And I asked him, how did you start? Because he's not, he said, just try and era Bwanangoi. He just tried and he was making a mistake, he was improving, he was trying again until he made him, he was able to develop a plastic in a plastic factory. But we've got a lot of professors who can explain a lot in thermoplastic and whatever you have, but they cannot do anything. And that Indian told me that he, he studied here, in, he was born in Tanzania. He studied here in Tanzania. Then he went to UK, UK he studied accountants, and he did not even complete his university degree. But he got a very big factory industry in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. So we need to be there if we want to, I mean, to venture into technological development. Another thing is about the issue of shortcuts. Many Africans, especially Tanzanians, young Tanzanians want, they, they, they like shortcuts very much. You know, he, he completed his school, he wants to be employed. Why he is employed? He wants to drive a car while working to a factory, while the owner does not have anything, he does not have a car. So they, maybe sometimes they think about stealing and shortcuts on getting money. And if we, have, we are dwelling with that type of shortcut, we cannot develop technology, technologically. We cannot develop our own industries if we are, I mean, so, we, we really want to, 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 to gain with, with shortcuts, but we need to be ready to work and work seriously develop our businesses, and even if we, have, we fail, we can ask ourselves why we failed, we improve our businesses, and we continue to improve and improve until we develop our enterprises and we develop, develop technologies. Thank you for listening to me on chapter 6 of the book, Technologies are the Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching chapter 6. Please don't miss chapter 7.